Carlos Alcaraz versus Grigor Dimitrov is the third quarter final for the men's Miami Open for 2024. And both players have been super impressive to get to this stage. Dimitrov entered the tournament as a number 11 seed and would get a bye in the first round. In the second round, he'd take on Tabillo. After losing the first set, would fight back to win. 6-7, 7-6, 6-2. In the third round, he'd take on Halfman, who had just beaten Manorino in the previous round. This is no problem for Dimitrov, beating Halfman in under an hour, 6-1, 6 love. In the fourth round, he'd take on the number eight seed, Hercatch, who had just played an epic match against Quarter the day before. And this is no different with Dimitrov losing the first set and fighting back to win. 3-6, 6-3, 7-6 to advance to the quarterfinals. Algris started the tournament off as a number one seed and we get a bye in the first round. In the second round, he'd take on Bayana. This is no problem getting through in straights. 6-2, 6-1. Third round, he'd take on Monfils. And again, no problem for Algris getting through in straights. 6-2, 6-4. In the fourth round, he'd take on the 23rd seed, Musetti, who had just beaten Shelton in the previous round. But again, no problem for Algris getting through in straights. 6-3, 6-3 to advance to the quarterfinals. These were played four times before with Algris holding a 3-1 head-to-head lead. However, last time they played was a three-setter in Paris, was a three-setter in Shanghai, and Dimitrov finally getting a win over Alcaraz. So the confidence will be with him going into this one. If Dimitrov's going to win this one, he has to win the first set. He's never won the first set against Alcaraz, and in Shanghai, he was able to come back, but he just played such a long match. He's got to be tired, especially being the age that he is. He's a veteran these days, so he needs to get that first set and be aggressive against Alcaraz as well. He can't stay back and just slice. If Alcaraz is going to win this one, he needs to attack Dimitrov and be aggressive and almost try and lengthen the rallies as well because he knows that the longer this match goes on, the better for him. So a third set wouldn't actually be a bad idea as well. You know, maybe losing the first set's not a bad thing for Alcaraz in the long term if he can get to a third set. Very fun matchup. Great to see Dimitrov continuing to play well. And after making the quarterfinals here, he's made the quarterfinals of all the 1,000 events. But I've got to go with Alcaraz in this one. I think Alcaraz wins this one in a close straight set. I think Dimitrov might just run out of gas. He's played a couple of tough matches. And Alcaraz hasn't lost a set. So he's going to be feeling fresh. But let me know down in the comments below who's making the semis.